Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this video where I will show you how to fly quick approaches using this beautiful new bird, the PMDG Boeing 737 on MSFS. Before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. All right, so I just loaded the aircraft as always with FSI Panel. Load your aircraft where you want to train. So here I choose Munich, today runway 26 left. So the aircraft is loaded, we'll go in the cockpit. And as you can see in the cockpit right now, I didn't set anything. I just loaded the uh, aircraft and I have the cockpit default set up. When we load the aircraft with the PMDG on any runway, we have all the pumps on. We don't have any lights on, as you can see. The seatbelt sign is off. I show you that because you will see what FSI panel is doing, in fact and I will not touch anything in the cockpit setup. So we'll basically leave it like this and now I will start FSI panel and we will see in real time what is happening. So let's start FSI panel. The first thing that you will see when you start FSI panel is the airport where you are training. So right now FSI panel has detected that we are in Munich, Echo Delta Delta Mike. Of course you can change that airport. Runway 26 left, that's the runway we are sitting on right now. And another important information, the PMDG 737 has been detected. Now I will quickly show you what setup options you have for that aircraft. If you go to setup PMDG, here you have a couple of settings. First is program FMC, that means do you want FSI panel to program your, your FMC or not? And do you want FSI panel to program only the first approach? So then you will be in charge of setting your FMC. That's a good option. If you want just to change approaches or change something, you can use that feature. Then we have uh, the final waypoint. Do you want FSI panel to program your FMC to go direct to the final approach point or to the runway directly? I strongly advise you to go for direct runway and reprogram your FMC if required. Then approach type priorities so right now the default is ILS localizer AirNav and URDME so if you are now I don't know training AirNav approaches you could move AirNav to the top and FSI panel will look for the AirNav approach if one is available and then it will set the approach basically in that priorities so now if there is no ILS in Munich you will look for a localizer if there is no localizer it will look for an AirNav approach to set up your FMC then we have the D4 auto brake. In my case, I selected two. And the default landing flaps, flaps 30. Uh, that's a good uh, landing flap. Then we have the after landing flow option that you can turn on or off. By default, it's on. This is FSI panel doing your first officer upon landing that will do the after landing flow for you while you can concentrate on your taxi. All right, now that we have seen the basic setup, let's see how we fly an approach. So if you know already FSI panel, you're aware that you can select any kind of position that you can customize anything you want uh, for your positions from the star, from the pilot waypoint. We have the training scenarios now as well on the advanced edition. As well now on the 737, we have the snapshots mode enabled. And for that quick tutorial, I will show you how to fly a quick approach using the quick setup button that we have on the main panel. So now we are sitting in Munich on runway 26 left with the default cockpit and I will select long final and we can see here on the summary we will fly an ILS runway 26 left at 8 nautical miles and we should be at 3800 feet which is on the glide slope. So now if I click move aircraft I get a warning because my aircraft is overweight. We just loaded the 737, I didn't check anything so obviously I'm overweight so if I click overweight I will accept to fly an approach in overweight situation. If I click set max landing weight, then FSI panel will automatically set the maximum landing weight for the 700. And if you click on new load, then you can change your fuel and zero fuel weight as you like. So that's what I will do. I'll reduce a little bit my zero fuel weight and as well a bit of fuel, less, less fuel, sorry. We go about 56.4 tons. Now we are good to go. So when I click update load, now we will see what happened with the side panel. So as always, do not touch anything until you are asked to do so. You see my control preparing your aircraft standby. 
the first thing you will see the flaps moving to 40 30 sorry and then we go in the air so don't touch anything just watch the show and let fsi panel do the job and it will take around 40 seconds to be ready you see your fmc program there you see the uh, M mode control panel has been set we are reaching 3800 feet we are in mcp speed adding alto quad we have the rs frequency set the correct qnh has been set and now we are finishing as well the uh, fmc setup i will just acknowledge the uh, atc otherwise she will get pissed all right that's it and now let's have a look at what happened in the cockpit since we click move aircraft you can see now on the overhead let me give you a better view on this i think it's control six yes we can see that the lights are set we're on final approach so the landing lights are on we have all the uh, runway turn off and taxi light on we have the ignitions on continuous we've got the anti-collision light we've got the fuel pumps have been set correctly as we have no fuel in our center pump in our center tank sorry so that has been done as well if i go back in the captain's seat i can see that i have the uh, localizer course on both sides my speed is 137 if i look in the uh, fmc we can see that uh, the right speed is 131 plus 5 and now it is uh, 137 which is the correct speed for the approach heading is set and we have the fmc if we look in the fmc quickly what has been said by fsi panel if you look into the route we have munich to munich and we have the ILS so now you're free to change anything you want the aircraft is in position freeze so you can change anything you like and eventually take a snapshot if you plan to do a couple of ILS's or use again uh, the position if we look into the speeds we have the zero fuel wedge which has been set we can see that in the performance page where FSI panel has set all the uh, value for you and if we look now in uh, the overall of the cockpit we have even the uh, speed brake is armed so we are basically fully ready to fly this approach auto brake is set to two so to take the control the only thing i have to do is hold my brake for three seconds to take the control so i will do that now and we will fly the approach and uh, we will see the after landing flow so hold your brake three seconds now i have the control you can see the aircraft start moving you have control I will arm the approach, arm second autopilot, we have Vorlock, glide slope is coming and we're gonna get established on uh, fully established in a few seconds. All right guys I see you just before the landing and we will see the landing report and the after landing flow. See you in a, see you in a few minutes. All right, 500 feet, we are stable. We have a rollout flare arm. I will take autopilot off now. Take the auto throttle off. And now we will do a long landing. This is on purpose. So we'll try to go at the end of the touchdown zone. And we will as well be slightly left of center line. This is just for the landing report so that we can see if that report is working properly. So let's go for the end of the touchdown zone and slightly left of the center line. This is typically what happens when you fly the real plane. It's uh, so fast, the 737, that usually young pilots have a tendency to refuse the ground. And now we flare on purpose a bit long and we go right there, slightly left. All right, we touch down, reverses. manual braking auto brake is disarm and we will just stop here on the runway here we go so i will show you sorry vacating the runway i show you now the after landing sequence so for that make sure that you have vacated the runway and that your speed is less than 30 knots so now the only thing you need to do to have fsi panel doing your first officer after landing flow is to retract one notch of flaps so i will do that now 
and now this is what FSI panel is doing we will see that in a couple of seconds I will stop there let's set the parking brake and let's see if we look up front in the overhead panel we can see that FSI panel has turned off your landing light that your taxi lights are on continuous sorry ignitions are off the APU is starting and we should have on the top here the probe it off which is the case now if we look into the flaps they have been retracted the transponder is on altitude reporting off for your taxi so basically FSI panel has done everything for you now to taxi your plane to the gate without having to worry about the after landing flow let's have a look at our landing report here the landing report so you can see long landing that was on purpose we uh, did it on purpose and slightly left of the center line exactly right it was a positive landing at the end and we can see that since I took over the control, we're a bit high on the uh, glide slope, but the localizer deviation was not too bad. So this is the uh, landing report that you can see and uh, progress through your landing. Now I'm on ground. We are, the flaps are up as we did the after landing. We have the uh, APU running. The lights are set for taxiing. Let's say you want to fly another approach now. This is how easy it is with FSI panel let's say you would like to be on the left hand vectors now left hand vectors will bring you with flaps 5 with the correct speed on a vector to intercept the ILS so we have the summary again and I will click move aircraft and we'll see what happened in the cockpit so click move aircraft and the flaps will be moving to 5 and then we'll go in the air so as always don't touch anything just wait FSI panel is taking the control. You can see your mode control panel is set. The gear is going up. The FMC is set now. Gear is coming off. We are reaching 3,800 feet. We have our speed ref now there. And we will be ready anytime soon. See the lights now. We have the runway turn off and taxi light off because our landing gear is up, the landing lights are on, the continuous ignitions are still off as we turn them on during the landing gear down process and otherwise we have auto brake back to two, gear is off and everything is set for the approach. I guess the APU is off as well, yeah the APU has been turned off, it takes two minutes until it turns off but it's been turned off by FSI panel as well so basically this is how you can set different kind of approaches and fly your approach in a few seconds using FSI panel. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any question or comment, please drop a line below and I will answer your questions. And please stay safe as always and speak. see you soon for another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.